Victor Muller is a successful 38-year-old financial analyst living in Zurich, Switzerland. Despite growing up in a small town, he worked his way up in his career and built what seemed like an ideal life. At 23, he married Elena Rossi, an Italian artist from Milan, who quickly became the love of his life. Together for 15 years, they had two children, 12-year-old Luca and 8-year-old Sophia. They lived in a spacious apartment overlooking Lake Zurich, and from the outside, their life seemed perfect. Elena's art career had been thriving, with her traveling to major European cities such as Paris, Berlin, Vienna, and Madrid for exhibitions. Although Victor was proud of her success and fully supported her ambitions, her frequent travels and increasing emotional distance had begun to put a strain on their relationship. While Victor managed the household and cared for their children during Elena's absences, their conversations became limited to mundane subjects like schedules and their kids, devoid of the intimacy they once shared. Initially, Victor brushed off these changes as part of the natural evolution of a long marriage. He attributed Elena's growing distance to the demands of her career and didn't want to stand in her way. However, small red flags began to accumulate, late-night texts, secretive phone calls, and an emotional disconnect that deepened with each passing day. His suspicions grew, but it wasn't until a specific night their anniversary dinner that Victor's worst fear solidified. He had arranged a romantic evening at one of the finest restaurants in Zurich, hoping to rekindle the spark that once defined their relationship. But Elena's lack of enthusiasm and her constant attention to her phone quickly overshadowed the evening. When Victor caught a glimpse of her smiling at a message on her phone, a smile that hadn't been meant for him in years, he felt a deep sense of betrayal. Elena excused herself to the bathroom, taking her phone with her, leaving Victor alone with his mounting suspicions. That night, unable to sleep, Victor's desperation led him to check Elena's laptop the following morning. Knowing her passwords, he logged into her email and found a series of emails exchanged with a man named Andreas Vena, a 40-year-old architect from Vienna. At first, the emails appeared work-related, but as he scrolled further, they revealed something far more intimate. Flirtatious, emotional, and explicit exchanges filled with declarations of love and secret plans had been taking place between Elena and Andreas for almost a year. The discovery shattered Victor's world. Elena had met Andreas at one of her art exhibitions, and the two had been meeting in secret during her travels. Victor's heartbreak soon turned into a mix of anger and betrayal. He wanted to confront her, but not at home, where she might manipulate the situation. Instead, Victor formulated a plan to confront Elena at her upcoming art show in Berlin, where Andreas was also scheduled to attend. He was determined to expose her in a public setting, in front of her colleagues and admirers, as well as Andreas, so they could all witness the truth of her betrayal. The days leading up to my planned confrontation were consumed with meticulous preparation. I had uncovered the location of the art gallery where Elena would be showcasing her work, and I wasted no time in booking a flight to Berlin. My strategy was straightforward. I would arrive unannounced and confront Elena and Andreas in the midst of the event, catching them off guard, with no way for them to escape the truth. On the morning of the show, Elena kissed me goodbye, acting as though everything was perfectly normal. The gesture made my stomach churn, knowing the betrayal she was hiding behind that affectionate facade. Yet, I played my part convincingly, wishing her good luck as the loving husband I once was. As soon as she was out of sight, I left for the airport, my mind set on what had to be done. When I arrived in Berlin, I checked into a hotel near the gallery. The rest of the day was spent mentally preparing for the confrontation. This wasn't going to be easy. Despite everything, I still loved her. There was a part of me that wanted to walk away to avoid the chaos that was about to unfold, but I knew I couldn't live with myself if I didn't expose the truth. By evening, the gallery was alive with excitement and energy. It was a high-profile affair, with art enthusiasts, wealthy collectors, and renowned artists mingling in the elegant space. Almost immediately, I spotted Elena. She was standing by one of her paintings, engaged in conversation with a small group of people. Among them was Andreas. 
Watching them together filled me with anger. They looked far too comfortable with one another, like a pair of old lovers rather than mere acquaintances. I waited for the right moment, walking around the gallery under the guise of admiring the art, though my eyes were fixed on them. My heart pounded in my chest, but I kept my composure. After some time, I saw my opportunity. Elena and Andreas had stepped away from the group and were now talking quietly in a more secluded corner of the gallery. It was time. Without hesitation, I made my way toward the microphone that had been set up for the evening speeches. I took hold of it, and as the microphone crackled to life, the room gradually quieted. All eyes turned to face me. Elena noticed me then, her expression shifting from confusion to horror as she realized what was happening. Good evening, everyone. I began, my voice steady but heavy with emotion. I know many of you are here to admire the art tonight, but there's another story that deserves to be shared. A story of betrayal. The room fell utterly silent. Every guest in the gallery was now focused on me. I pointed toward Elena. This is my wife, Elena, I said, my voice rising. And that man over there, I gestured toward Andreas, is the man she's been having an affair with for the past year. They've been sneaking around behind my back, and I think it's only fair that everyone here knows the truth. The shock in the room was palpable. Elena's face drained of color. She opened her mouth as if to speak, but no words came out. Andreas stood frozen, his eyes wide in disbelief. A wave of murmurs swept through the crowd, and I noticed several people pulling out their phones to record what was unfolding. I turned my attention back to Elena, my voice breaking with pain. I loved you, Elena. I gave you everything. I trusted you. And this is how you repay me? By sneaking around with another man. Tears welled up in her eyes, but I refused to be swayed. I couldn't let her manipulate me with emotions that no longer held any weight. She needed to be seen for who she really was, not just by me, but by everyone. The crowd, initially stunned into silence, began to react. I heard whispers, disapproving murmurs, and even a few people clapping in support of me. One woman shouted, Shame on you, Elena. Others shook their heads in disgust. Even among a room full of artists, Individuals who often prided themselves on open-mindedness and liberal values. There was no defense for such an obvious betrayal. Then, something unexpected happened. Andreas, whose face had flushed with embarrassment, stepped forward. His voice trembled as he addressed me. Victor, I'm sorry. I had no idea things would get this far. I can't do this anymore. With that, Andreas turned on his heel and walked out of the gallery leaving Elena standing there, humiliated and alone. She tried to follow him, but the crowd blocked her path, whispering, pointing, and shaking their heads in disapproval. There was no escaping now. The truth had caught up to her. I stood there, watching as the woman I had once loved crumbled before me. It was a bittersweet victory. I had exposed her for the betrayal, but the sense of triumph felt hollow. The woman I had spent 15 years of my life with was no longer the person I thought she was. In the weeks that followed, our marriage came to an official end. The divorce was painful, but it was the only option. Elena tried to apologize, to explain herself, but nothing she could say would ever repair the damage that had been done. As for Andreas, he disappeared from her life as quickly as he had entered it. Now... I'm sharing this story not to gain sympathy, but to offer a warning. Trust can be shattered in an instant, even by the person you love the most. Always be aware, always be vigilant, because life has a way of unraveling when you least expect it.